We did it. Every chicken coop is full of chickens. I should start throwing extra eggs in there. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here back in yo life with another episode of Building with UTC. I am UTC, and today we are going to do some building. I'm coming at you from Hollow Grove. This is the site of all the building we have done in Season 2 of Building with UTC, and we're definitely going to be doing some today. Uh, I have been working my butt off, uh, away from camera, uh, expanding Hollow Grove. You guys have seen this sort of underground village concept I've been working on. This uh, chicken coop, actually, we my inventory chock full of eggs right now, so we can keep trying to get this like stocked up with chickens the real trick the problem i was having last episode i needed a door on the top and it needs to stay closed until one of these little chicks becomes a chicken uh and so once you got a chicken he can't fit out that gap and that works so i have a baby chicken there so i can't open that one and i'll show you come on you gotta throw it and quickly close it really quickly close it there you go there you go come on yeah yeah oh Okay. Well, I'm really not good at this. We're getting a lot of chickens, though. Come on. Yeah, yeah! Okay, I did it. I did it. That's how you do it. Okay, cool. Whoops! Well, I didn't mean to do that. That's cool. I still have 11 more eggs. Yeah, yeah! Okay. Oh, we're almost done. This chicken coop's almost fully stocked. Come on. Give me one more and let me close the door quick enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we did it. We did it. Every chicken coop is full of chickens. I should start throwing extra eggs in there. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right, that's cool. We'll come back to this place at some point. But for the time being, I've got some stuff to show you guys. I mentioned I've been expanding. I have dug a whole new path, a whole new underground road. Uh, and I've dug it through the forest, uh, like we have in the past. This is going to be the site of the next village at Hollow Grove. And we're actually going to be headed out. Oh, people talking about my YouTube videos, leaving comments and whatnot. That's what that ding-a-ling sound is. I got to turn that off. Uh, we uh, we're heading out to the site of what I think will be the big build here at Hollow Grove. Now I have talked a lot in this series about really using my imagination and getting in tune with the people that I imagine living in the spots I'm building, and so. My first vision was sort of a cross between a stone age, village dug into the ground, hobbit holes, and then I'm picturing the people as being very in tune with nature. Uh, maybe forest worshippers, uh, I'm thinking like sort of Native American in, uh, in their, their spirituality. Uh, and with that, with them having lived in and under this forest, my thought for their big building is it got to be a religious or a spiritual building. And so I've dug this path all the way out here, really expanded uh, Hollow Grove. And like I said, we're going to add villages in all along the length of this. But it spits out here in this river bend, this fork in the river. And like I said, I'm thinking we need a big build. We need we need a, a massive building, some big project to work on out here, right? And um, all the little spots we've built so far are really self-contained. Every little hobbit hole is going to have a kitchen. There's obviously food growing all over. There'll be bedrooms out that way. So what would you need a big communal building for? And when we were talking about this on the live stream last night, I live stream Minecraft once a week on Twitch, we decided let's make a religious building and let's make it a worship of the trees. So what I'm going to do, I've hollowed out, as you got a sneak peek there, this entire hill. And we're going to have a gigantic evergreen tree growing out the top and then inside this building where the roots all dig in we are going to have some sort of altar it's going to be cool i got a lot of big plans but yeah i took this grande hill and i thought what can i do with this and i just hollowed the whole damn thing out take a look i got a little wheat growing for myself but this is the hollowed out building and these are the giant roots so in the center of these roots, we're going to have, yeah, some sort of prayer site. It's still a work in progress, but I'm really enjoying letting my imagination run free and come up with some crazy ideas. Today, though, my plan is to attempt, and we'll see how well it goes, my plan is to attempt to build this massive evergreen tree. I've never built a massive evergreen tree. I've built, uh, like, giant custom, you know, oak trees in the past, 
but uh, yeah. So what, I, what I've done is everywhere I got roots, I've sort of expanded. So I had one log coming out the middle, I put a little on the outside, right? This will just beef it up and let me do the, tip, the typical thing you get with these spruce trees where you just sort of slowly encircle the tree with leaves. And I've been working my butt off collecting logs and, uh, and leaves. I'm not sure if we'll get to, you know, adding foliage to this tree. I'm not sure we'll even get done building it. But I'm going to fill the inventory with a little bit of this spruce and we're going to go to town. Um, we're going to see, I'm just going to go mostly straight up and I guess I need dirt on my hot bar. I have dirt. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I have dirt down in the base because if I, anytime you're building with, uh, with, uh, the big logs, they only face the way that you want them or they only face a certain way. So if you really want to get a build looking the way you want to, you know, if you really want to get it looking a specific way, you kind of need some dirt on the hot bar too. That should be just enough. Okay, cool. Let's head up there and see if we can't start building this thing. It's going to be fun. Um, I, uh, I think I avoided in season one going, I think I went all the way through season one without really, uh, without really attempting a big build. Everything we did in season one at Ocean's Gate there was small and small scale. Um, nothing crazy, crazy giant. All right, I'll put you there, put you there, and and I'll just keep bringing this up, and then I think we're gonna have to taper in towards the middle as we go up. Yeah, we definitely are. So why don't I actually taper into the middle in a, the simplest way possible? So we'll just pillar up from that one instead. And if we gotta make it to the middle, maybe we do a little of this. Building on camera is something I'm working on. Uh, being able to keep talking and keep telling stories and entertaining you guys without, oh, I almost fell off there, uh, without uh, uh, getting distracted or getting overwhelmed by the thing that I'm trying to build, which is a genuine possibility. So let's knock that out. And I think this is the start of the, the, the sort of the bulk of the tree. That's, oh, uh, that might be a little too steep. Either way, it's like I should focus on building up this central portion as high as we really want to go because that's going to be, oh, I should, I'm going to take some fall damage here and I need some food in the old inventory. Damn it. All right, let's prevent some fall damage. Come on, there you go. Uh, I'm getting excited to play uh, some new games on the channel. For those of you that watch my channel pretty regularly and you know what's been going on with it, I think I'm going to call Flame in the Flood quits. It's a really cool game, but I don't have a ton of people watching it. And I'm really committed to playing Minecraft right now for you guys and building up this Let's Play series. Um, so I think the Flame in the Flood is going to go by the wayside, at least for the time being. But there are so many cool new games coming out. I am really excited just to uh, keep messing around and discovering uh, cool new games, maybe introducing new people to my channel by playing new games. All right, I'm gonna see if this is starting to feel like a, a big central tree. There you go. There you go, and like that. And then this is eventually, yeah, we're about to meet, right? Okay, cool. So I'll put you there. Actually, let's go up one more and then shoot. I can hop up here, can I? Yes, I can. All right, we'll hammer that out. It's the getting down that's going to be the hard. Oh, I guess I have my Elytra. I could just glide down. I'm a fool. The, the game, the Minecraft game has changed now that we've got Elytras. I need to go to bed. It's dark as hell. Oh, all right. Speaking of Elytras, there's no way to glide off this. Oh, no, I didn't glide at all. Okay, let's just get to safety. <laughs> um, you know what? This is a good, as good a time as any for me to take my usual middle of the episode break. This place not really secure. I've got all kinds of skylights coming through because ideally once we're done, I want all kinds of holes up in the ceiling where snow can fall through like this, like that. That looks, it's going to be cool. And I'm going to keep hollowing out the inside of this. I have really big plans and this is a build we're going to be working on for a while. But let me get some sleep. Let me see if I can do a little more work on that tree and I'll bring you guys back for the second half of this episode of Building with UTC.
Ah, uh, that still needs some work. I'm still working on this thing, guys. The night is quickly falling, though, so let's grab, uh, grab some sleep before all the freaks come out to play, and we'll get back at this in, uh, in the AM. It's really hard to tell at this early stage where, uh, oh, looks like we're not... The freaks have come out. I'm gonna have to relight this place up with some torches. Alright, and then let's get out the bow. We'll have a little bow battle with this freak. Uh, get taught a lesson, fool. Get taught a lesson. Whoops, he's out. Bow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, d I gotcha. I got oh, nice shot. I need to eat some food so I don't die. Yes, get smashed. Okay. I'll keep this tree between us. Oh, wow. This guy's... Oh! Well, there you go. Looks like, uh... Looks like I didn't plan that battle very well. That's cool. We'll go in and just smash this fool barefisted. You're about to get smashed. Yeah, yeah! Get destroyed. I was one shot away. That's disappointing to know. That I died and lost that XP. Speaking of uh, XP, I'm gonna make a grinder at some point. An XP grinder. And I found a dungeon. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna make some stuff happen. We're gonna get some high level tools. That is an episode that awaits us. And, uh, damn, stupid. I gotta get my inventory reorganized. Stupid. I hate. I come back to an episode and I immediately can't do what I wanted to do in that episode. Give me a sec, let's crash. I'll reorganize the inventory. What? Okay, fine, I'll just reorganize the inventory. I'll keep you guys with me while I do it. Be prepared for a boring few minutes. Uh, I guess there's freaks around. And that's the big problem. I, I gotta remember not to stay up late, to just, as soon as it starts getting dark, go to bed, call it night. And that's, that's, then you will avoid these problems. But I'm not that smart, and I probably never will be. Put on the Elytra. That way, if we have to, we can glide to safety. That's a bad symbol. Why is there a little... Okay. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I thought Minecraft was about to crash. Okay, can I sleep now? Yes, I can. Cool. Alright, guys. So let's go take a look at this thing. I think all we're going to be able to do today is the trunk. The, the, the meat, the woody part of this tree. And it's, from this angle, it looks pretty good. Like, that's the shape I want to go. Obviously, we're going to go a lot higher. Um, but the question is, is this too wide? Like, that's too wide for the base of a tree, it feels like. I'm, I might be setting my sights way too high if I do it that way. So let's chop you down. And actually, I'll chop out a bunch of this. This, this is the idea. If, if you build a lot, and you build a lot in Minecraft... You learn that you really need to keep, keep, like, as soon as you think you've got a grasp on it, take it up a level. Because, if that sentence made any sense. But, like, you, you, you can't just build and go, oh, good, done. If you're going to be, if you're going to be a good builder, and I, I hope that I'm at least, if not a good builder yet, that it's something I'm getting towards by continual practice, building stuff on camera with you guys and talking about those builds. But um, you, you kind of have to be a perfectionist. You have to go, is that the way that I want this to look? And I'm constantly doing that, especially especially with big trees like this. It takes a lot of, yeah. See, it's too far out. I need to, I need to begin removing some of this wood from the outside and putting it on the inside so that this thing feels more fleshed out. Uh, I think building trees is always a challenge in Minecraft because uh, Minecraft does a pretty good job of it for you. That when you're building something like this, it has to be exceptional. It has to be special uh, for it to be worth you bothering with it right? And you have to make it a, a big central focal point. And I've not really done that in the past with Minecraft. I've never made uh, a really, you know, a really grand, built up, cool looking tree. That just doesn't happen. Oh, this is going to be an easy one. We got one, two more of these left. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep, uh, let's keep plowing away at it. And I'm going to just steadily try and move these towards center because I don't want the base of this tree to get too wide. I don't know what you are. I think I think I need a little bit of dirt right here. I think I need a piece there. And I think you need to go higher. And you need to go higher. And you need to go higher. That's cool. We're starting to get a feel for it. Uh, the, building big things on camera is always a challenge for me because I am this perfectionist. I'm, I'll do it and then I'll walk away like this doesn't look right to me. That needs to be much lower. Right? Now how's that feel? That feels a little better, but I don't like 
I don't like how this is looking. Alright, and maybe I can chop that block out. Can I? I think so. Nope. Alright, let's build up. Let's let's pillar up a little. Uh, it's uh, All in all, I probably shouldn't be too much of a perfectionist with this because... It's going to be encircled by leaves, and that's the leaves are, are what's going to have the biggest effect on how this thing looks uh, at the end of the process. I think I'm just going to knock those out. I don't think I want to do it like that. Yeah, this, this one will make a little thinner and more narrow, and see if I can't tie in, maybe tie into this one on the right here. Hmm. Yeah, like like I said, it's a lot of a lot of place a block, break a block, place a block, block, break a block. But oh, stop sending me texts, you fools! It's distracting me big time, uh, which is not hard. I distract myself pretty easily almost all the time, as I'm sure you guys do too. It's hard just not not to be generally distracted in our modern world with all the amazing distractions that are out there. And then once again, I'm going to try and tie into, uh, try and tie into one of these other uh, big stems of the tree, so that I don't have just six big ones meeting in the middle. Like I wouldn't mind, yeah, if it looks a little bit like that, where one ties into the other. That's what I did, so that like this one here, instead of having to go all the way up to the top and meet the tree, it just ties into this side, which means actually I need to not, I need to. Uh, knock one of these blocks out. Uh, I mentioned in the first half of this video some of the games that I'm really excited to play. I know there's new Fallout DLC and I played uh, Fallout on the channel when it first came out. Uh, there's also Planet Coaster and I'm a nerd for the old roller coaster tycoon games. I love those. Played the crap out of them. Probably way too much. Uh, ooh, is that gonna look weird? It might look weird. I'm gonna break those two blocks. Yeah, and I need to put one up on top of this. I think. Yeah, one right there. That's what I need. Damn it. <laughs> oh, the pain, the struggle of, of getting it just the way you want it. There, I think that's going to look good. And we got one more to do, and then we'll be able to back up, take a look at this thing, and see what we think. In fact, I could probably do that. Oh, actually, I might be done. Okay, cool. Well, that's the rough frame. Obviously, lots of work left to do and tons and tons of leaves to add. I got a chest full of them, but I, I didn't use nearly as much wood as I thought I would. So we'll be using that in the base and when we take this thing higher because the whole tree is going to go up, up, up. Uh, but for now, I think that might be a good look. Why don't I head into one of my uh, tree squirrel towers that I've built up there and I'll use my Elytra and I'll glide down and we'll take a look at this thing. All right, guys, here we are. Here's another one of those minimalist houses I've built. It's got the furnace, it's got a little storage, it's got a bed, and it's got a crafting table. I like them. They also have this ladder up the back. In the age of Minecraft 1.9, where you can glide where you want to glide, I think this is the, the premier way of moving around the map. Now, I should mess with my view distance. I think, I think it's this way. I think that's where I'm headed but I'm not certain. We're just gonna jump off and start gliding and see where see where it takes us. And I should eat up, actually, just in case we do get a little fall damage. Let's get full and, uh, and we'll take this bad boy home. We'll call this an episode with a flyby of this tree. And I'm gonna be working on this tree. Oh yeah, in future build, in future episodes, we're gonna keep expanding, keep building it up. Yes, it's just on the other side of this hill. So I need to make it around this hill and swing around. Is this going to be a flyby? I hope it's going to be a flyby. There it is. Yep. Not a real flyby. I'd be better off just... Yeah. There you go. I, it needs to be a lot bigger and a lot taller, but I can see the early stages of it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a giant Christmas tree shape. I like it. Uh, okay. This is too, too early a point to really get a good view of it, but uh, that's going to be it. We're going to have that giant tree on top, and we're going to have an altar underneath in the roots where these people, the, 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 the dwellers of Hollow Grove, are, are uh, worshipping their, their deities. It's going to be cool, and I'm very much looking forward to it. 
Uh, I gotta keep working on this tree. In fact, I might do some work on it right now. Because uh, I'm not done with it. Oh, but it's nighttime. Okay, cool. So guys, let's call this one quits. I'm Unite the Clans. Coming at you here from uh, old Hollow Grove. And the new build that we are working on. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, welcome back, geeks. Take a look at that. A decent amount of time and effort has resulted in what I, I like to think is a good-looking raft. I'm not sure how she sails, but um, in terms of construction, I've gotten pretty happy with it. I'll give you a quick tour.